Hi, I'm Dami from eLearning Channel Museum. So far, we have learned piano by playing on black keys and white keys. This time, we're going to play an actual musical lines. Instead of five lines, we will start with one and adding one by one. Some people might wonder why we don't start from five lines, like an actual musical staff. This is because we need to understand the concept of musical notation before reading notes. In this video, I'm going to talk about a little bit history of how musical notation system has changed into current five lines. First, we will explore how the music notation system has changed. In the beginning, there were not any musical notation systems. People used the music only for religious services and taught the tunes to others by mouth. As you can see it in this picture, seems like this man is teacher trying to teach some melody lines and the other man is seems like a student trying to get something. But as you can see it in this face, expression shows that he doesn't get it right. <laughs> trying to learn something. As the religious group gets bigger, it was not feasible to teach these melodies to many people by mouth. So people started to write down the tunes on paper at the end of 8th centuries. This is one of the first written melody system in 9th centuries. As you can see, the notes are top of the words. At the time, music was more likely mumbling with little pitch, no rhythms, not many different pitches. As the church got bigger and more power, the music service time became longer. As more music was written, it was hard to tell apart the notes from each other. So people started to draw lines to better recognize the notes. This is music with the single lines. As you see here, this red line is single line to recognize the note. And this is from Gregorian chant written in 12th century. And above the lines, you can see there is a note going up and down, stay on the line and going up and down. Soon after the use of a single line to represent different notes, two lines were adapted. This is manuscript from Paris, written in the same 12th century. Do you see these two lines? As church music got bigger, the music notation system rapidly took shape. Choirs and instruments started to get big. Musicians start to add lines one by one. Both music were written on 15th century. The left is the row music with five lines. Do you see five lines here? One, two, three, four, five. And the right, German music with four lines. As you see here, musicians added a line as they needed to write down different notes. So even if in the same time, German used four lines while Italy used five lines. Later on, this Rome system took over, making today's musical notation system like a five lines. The beginning of the 16th century, music notation got formed as close as nowadays notation system. This music was from Venice at the 16th century. It shows that not only the notes, but also most of notation system that we use nowadays. Different rhythm values like a quarter note, half note, whole note, dotted quarter note, eighth note, and even sixteenth note here. Also shows clef, like a treble clef or a bass clef, and time signature even. That one we can see it. Cut time, 2-2. Two, two. And bar lines here. As we have to look, musical notation system first started as a pitch and was written like a graph without note names just to, to symbolize pitch going up and down. So when you read the music, you should see it as a graph going up and down instead trying to read individual note names. In next video, we're going to learn how to read note as a graph.